Hi, this is Jimmy the Fontmeister, and I'm here to tell you about the new TransType Pro online font conversion tool. We've made it possible for you to convert fonts over the web now using just your browser and a PC. With the online conversion tool, you could just rent a copy of TransType to do the work you need. You could think of it as pay as you go. You're going to be the local office hero the next time your boss asks you to convert a font. Now you won't have to blow the company budget by buying a whole family of fonts. The first time you go to the Ruse page, you'll be asked to download the Ruse plugin. So after you've downloaded the plugin, then you'll have to save that file to your hard drive. And then after you've saved it, you're going to have to run it. And after you run it, you'll be uh, located in the installer wizard. Once it's installed, you're ready to start using TransType. Okay, now let's work on a couple of fonts and see what saving money on font conversion looks like. We've tried to make it as easy as one, two, three. So one, click on the plus icon, and choose a font. Two, pull down this little menu, pick a format. Let's convert this to a type one. Three, hit the convert icon, choose a folder, and you're done. Let's try that again. This time we've got a PostScript Type 1 font, that's 1. 2, the format, let's convert it to a true type with true type outlines. And 3, the convert button. Pick a folder, and bingo, you're done. Okay, let's take this in another direction. Let's say we started out with a Type 1 font, that's 1. And 2, we pick a format. And let's convert this to an open type with PostScript outlines. Three, we find a folder, and we're done. And finally, let's take a look at how easy it is to convert a font family. Let's say you want to convert a family of type 1 fonts to true type. Well, first, as you can see here, we've loaded up the whole family. We come over here and make sure our format is true type. Go back to the little menu and choose properties. Select the family, come on here to this Tools button, build all the family names, click OK, and you're done. You can find more details on font conversion at uh, fontlab.com, check out the TransType page, and take a look at the user manual. Well, thanks for watching the online TransType tutorial. Let us know what other kind of topics you'd like to see covered in this series.